Yeah, well, it was a bit of an awkward situation. Oh, I get it. Kind of one of those jump into business that's not yours and throw the first punch, but don't land a single blow and then get your ass kicked. Awkward situations. That's one way of looking at it. Well, do you have any other ways of looking at it? Because I am all out. What it do, YouTube? I'm Ricky. And I'm Ricardo. And finally, the Rick has come back to YouTube. But what do you know? It, it does work. Don't ruin it. Again. Fair enough. Now, if you watched the last couple of videos, they've been kind of serious. And that's not entirely the personality we want this channel to take on. So today, we're going to go a little light and touch on something that's been weighing on us for a while now. Pun intended. The Karate Kid. Okay, wait, are we talking about the Ralph Macchio Karate Kid or the Jaden Smith Karate Kid? Now, unless we're discussing the beautiful Taraji P. Henson, that's a movie we'll never speak on again because that was Kung Fu, not Karate. Well, let's do it then. Now, since I was alive for the release of the original Karate Kid, as a kid, I really didn't put the math together until I rewatched it and all three seasons of his uh, sequel TV series, Cobra Kai, which is really good and unrealistically hokey in his fight scenes. Okay. I know you're going to disagree with me because that's why we're here, but uh, while we're led to believe that Johnny Lawrence was the bad guy, I'm going to explain to you how Daniel LaRusso was the bully the entire time. <laughs> what? No, 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 no. Let's walk through this. Yes, walk me through how Kreese, Johnny, and Cobra Kai were the bad guys. Okay, let's lay a foundation. From the beginning, Daniel was already mad that they had to move from Jersey to L.A. The movie said it was because his mother got a new job, but who's to say that he didn't get kicked out of his previous school due to his behavior? The world. The world says that he didn't move to L.A. because of his behavior. Anyway, first day there, he runs into this kid named Freddy Fernandez. Freddy's only relevance is that he gave Daniel the name, the Karate Kid, and he invited him to a party at the beach. Doesn't prove that he's a bully. But that's where Daniel met Johnny and Allie for the first time. Which he would have done anyway. They went to the same school. Anyway, Allie and Johnny get into this little spat. And who injects himself into this little spat? Daniel. So he was a little chivalrous. What's your point? After the deal with the radio, somebody could have walked away. But somebody decided to throw the first punch and it wasn't Johnny. All he was doing was defending himself. Okay. Clearly Johnny was holding back from ripping Daniel in half. He, he, he put him on the ground three times and gave him every opportunity to walk away. He walked up to a floor Daniel and asked him if he's had enough, at which time Daniel sucker punched him, stood up, and took a karate stance. Now Daniel wasn't going away, so Johnny took it up another notch, condensed the nonsense, and it was Johnny and Freddy who walked away. Yeah, well it was a bit of an awkward situation. Oh, I get it. Kind of one of those jump into business that's not yours, and throw the first punch but don't land a single blow, and then get your ass kicked. Awkward situations. That's one way of looking at it. Well, do you have any other ways of looking at it? Because I am all out. Look, the kid saw a girl in trouble and he thought he was in a position to help. And a lot of good it did him. Well, it attracted Allie's attention. And we're going to circle back to that. Next incident. They're at the, uh, the soccer tryouts and Bobby tripped up Daniel while they were playing soccer. Now, granted, it was an orchestrated dick move to, to trigger Daniel. It worked. And who started throwing punches? Daniel. Hold on there now, cowboy. Daniel didn't instigate that. But he definitely responded to it. It's like baseball. The batter who rushes the mound get the bigger punishment. Swing and a miss. What's next? The big one. The Halloween dance. Where Daniel... Whoa, 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 whoa. You conveniently skipped over a very important part of the plot here. And what part is that? The part where they pushed him off his bike and sent him tumbling down the side of a mountain. It wasn't a mountain. It was just a really big hill. Regardless, how did he instigate that one? Technically, he didn't. You're on the brink of victim shaming here, man. Okay, okay. Let me plead the rest of my case here. Go on. Okay, at the little Halloween thing, Johnny was bothering nobody. Granted, he was rolling up a joint in a bathroom stall, but he was still bothering no one. So, so, so who sees him go into the restroom and sprays him with a water hose? Daniel. So Johnny has had enough. You couldn't leave one enough alone. They chase him down and take him in, and they take him to the woodshed until Mr. Miyagi shows up to save him. Yeah, because it was five on one and they practically begged Johnny to leave him alone because he can barely stand. Well, he asked him if he's had enough at the beach and ended up getting sucker punched. So 
whatever. Okay, so if we keep in score at home, it's two to one. And when Daniel asked Miyagi to train him, it wasn't for self-defense, it was for revenge. And, Mi and after Miyagi educated him, he took Daniel to the Cobra Kai Dojo and makes a deal with Creasy where they'll settle all of this at the tournament. And at the request of Miyagi, Creasy orders his team not to touch Daniel until the tournament to give him time and opportunity to train. You still with me? Unconvincingly, you seem to be leaving out very important plot Such points. as? Daniel's affliction when Miyagi told him that he, he didn't want to get further involved. The way Daniel responded when he found out he wasn't he was going to fight at the tournament. All Daniel wanted to do for the Cobra Kai to leave him alone. That's definitely not the behavior that can of a bully. definitely be the behavior of a bully. Especially when he discovers that he's been outmatched and outnumbered. And when his secret weapon doesn't want to get involved. Look, up until this point, he he's whether or not he's an according to Hoyle bull, bully is irrelevant. Whether he knows it or not, he's indirectly being a bully. And you're officially fishing in the open waters of victim shame. Can I continue? Go right ahead. Okay. So the next day at school, after all the deals have been made, what does Daniel do? In front of Allie, he taunts the Cobra Kai, knowing full well they can't touch him. He basically took credit for their for their injuries in front of the guy's ex-girlfriend, and then he officially axed her out. And Johnny was gonna That's break not just the a bully. That's an entitled bully. And Johnny was gonna break that rule until his until his guys held him back. Not the second time. The second time they walked away. Then at their date, uh, they ran into the Kais again, where they actually invited Allie and Daniel to go to a party with them. Sarcastically, whatever. And then he crashes that fancy party, where Johnny forced himself on Allie knowing Daniel was there. You always got an answer, huh? That's why I'm here, to destroy this ridiculous logic of yours. You had a better argument with the Fine. Pokemon thing. Now Let's we're at the up. tournament. We don't have to go through all the details of it, other than them cornering him in the locker room right before the tournament. Where Johnny did nothing. It was all Dutch. Now, when Bobby tried to take Daniel out of the tournament at the orders of Creasy and apologized profusely because because he clearly didn't want to do it, Johnny was ordered to sweep the leg. Turn, Neil. Hey, Johnny, you're a creep, huh? Sweep the leg. You have a problem with that? No, Sensei. No mercy. Which definitely he had a problem with doing despite what he told Kreese. But he did it anyway. Daniel wins a tournament with an illegal kick. The legality of that kick is a whole nother debate. Anyway, Johnny had to dumb down his fighting style as to not break any of the rules of the tournament. And we both know that if they were fighting in the streets, well, The Rock said it best in Furious 8. Let me tell you something. Me and you one on one no one else around i will beat your ass like a cherokee drum well i guess we'll never know which teenager would have won in a street fight yes we do miyagi knew because right before daniel fought chosen for the final time in karate kid 2 daniel sir it's not tournament it's for real and daniel beat chosen too again he didn't in season three a much older chosen took daniel daniel's ass back to stage one with no continues Look, we can't do this retroactively. Stick with the original movie. Okay, Daniel wins the tournament and Johnny takes the trophy. But instead of going all Shooter McGavin with it, he hands Daniel the trophy and congratulates him. Look, all you've done here is shown that Johnny wasn't as big of a dick as we needed him to be. Now, Daniel may have, have gotten himself into some mischief and had some painful consequences, but in no way was he a bully. A jerk, but not a bully. But there's one thing we can agree on, though, and what's that? That Mr. Miyagi was dressed up super fly at that tournament. Agreed. Well, there you have it, YouTube. I may concede that Daniel wasn't the by definition bully in this movie. He definitely wasn't a victim either. And retroactively following the events of the Cobra Kai series, neither was Johnny. Especially when he revived the Cobra Kai and Daniel tried to stop it. It was the bullied kids he took in. And it was Allie who he reconnected with, not Daniel. Uh, but we've, we've gone way over time. So that's another argument for another day. Uh, so if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know you liked it. Share, 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 subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can get all the updates as they happen. And I've challenged myself. Have you? Over and out.